I got a friend who texted me on Instagram. Uh, you know, <laughs> they posted those uh, baby pictures, and he said, uh, tell me that's you on the left. I said, yeah, that's me. And it was, it was happy. Gotcha. So what's your reaction? Congratulations again. Oh, I'm so happy. So, uh, like, I worked for, for that. That was one of my uh, goals, and uh, I achieved it. So I'm really happy with that. Nice. Will your family get to go? Oh, for sure. For sure, they will be there. Good. Um, what's this say about uh, France? Yeah, like I said, uh, we got a lot coming, and uh, you can see this year, it's like we, we are two now, uh, me and uh, Victor, so uh, yeah, we're just happy to represent France, and uh, we hope there is uh, more and more coming, so. I'm guessing this will be the first time you're getting to play with Victor in, in a game officially <laughs> since. I mean, I don't know if you're going to be, uh, are they doing it, is it rookie versus sophomore, or are they splitting it up, they're, so they're splitting it up, so are you hoping yeah, yeah, that actually, you guys yeah. are on the same team or against each other? Uh... <laughs> Uh, good question. <laughs> good question. Um, I don't know yet. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but for you, what have you guys said to each other about it so far? Have you guys gotten to talk about it yet? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We learned that uh, yesterday. Yeah. Uh, pretty late. So uh, yeah, we, we we'll talk about it tonight uh, for sure. And I know you, you came into this league with expectations that have success, and, and here you are getting recognized already halfway through your first season. What, what does it mean to you to be getting this honor so early already? Yeah, I mean, I'm so proud, uh, so proud of myself, uh, of, uh, you know, the organization and everything that helped me to be there. So, uh, yeah, so proud of uh, everybody, even my family who helped me. Uh, they always here for me, so, yeah. What would your family say about it? Oh, they were so proud. Uh, I called my mom. She was smiling like uh, I've never seen her smile. So yeah, I was like, I was really proud of myself. Have you? I'm, I don't know if you ever been to Indianapolis. Do you know anything about Indianapolis? I, did, I don't know anything about it, but yeah, I've been there twice. Uh, I haven't do a lot, but I hope there's something to do. <laughs> yeah. I heard there's a cord in the airport when you get there. Yeah, I yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah, I saw that. Oh, <laughs> but man. apparently you can't play on it. Like, nah, 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 nah. Plastic on top. Of oh, okay. On top of I, the didn't room I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Well, you've um, obviously talked to us about how much you've grown in your different aspects of your game of the season. I'm wondering which part you're most proud of that you've uh, been able to improve. Uh, I'll say uh, my shooting ability, uh, just being able to knock down those threes uh, when I'm open, uh, and uh, my ability to go to the rim too, uh, finishing. Uh, it's getting better and better, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to work, still working on that to be even better. How much do you feel like the opportunity? We've talked about you getting to guard all the elite players mm -hmm. and everything like that, but just being in D.C. where you're able to have a lot of court time, whereas maybe you go to another team, you're not so much part of the rotation. How much did the opportunity help you in just getting thrown into the game? Yeah, I love it because uh, I think you're learning more when you're in the game uh, instead of watching, uh, being able to guard those guys, uh, to play against them offensively too. And, uh, yeah, it's, I'm just, like, really blessed to be able to play uh, every day a uh, certain amount of minutes and uh, yeah so I'm really happy with it yeah I don't know if it would have been the best way everywhere but was it like your game in the last uh, few games you put together a little winning streak everyone's feeling good how do you what do you like about your game right now uh, I mean, yeah, just the fact of winning uh, like winning the past two games in a row uh, first like really good uh, we're on a good dynamic right now everybody's smiling everybody's ready to play each and every game so uh, yeah, I'm just proud of the of the team. How's it been with uh, Coach Keefe so far? Uh, but you know, how has he helped you maybe in the last week or however long it's been so far? I can't keep track. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I've been working with him since the beginning of the year, so it's a long yeah, a long time we've been working together, and uh, he's doing even more now, uh, knowing uh, what plays we're gonna run and everything. So he's helping me with that. Yeah. Do you have a, a, a favorite moment so far this season for you personally? Uh, maybe my uh, dunk against the Sixers uh, on Paul Reed. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That was a good one, so <laughs> maybe this one. All right, one more question for, about Wemby here. Mm -hmm. If you do go against him in the game, are you going to maybe try to dial up some kind of dunk like that? I mean, he might be hard to get over, but... Yeah, he really tall, but every time I'm playing against him, I'm thinking about it. So, uh, yeah, if we play against him, I, I might try. <laughs> yeah. Was it about this time last year that you moved up to the senior team with? It was about this time, yeah, yeah, a uh, year and two weeks ago, yeah, and a week ago, yeah. Thinking of just how far you've come in a year, how, I mean, considering that you were just playing with mm. kind of the, the juniors last year, how do you feel like you've adjusted to being a pro? I mean, pretty well, I guess, uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty well, um, yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, I've been working for that, uh, everything happened so fast, though, but I'm just happy, yeah.
Well, there were a couple of plays uh, against San Antonio where you just got the ball at the top of the key and they just let you work. They just gave you a clean court to work on, like ISO. Is that what you want? Do you want to be able to run the point from the offense and sort of orchestrate the offense that way? Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Uh, you know, my handle, like I said, and uh, yeah, being able to get to that rim, uh, put pressure on the rim so I can like pass the ball out. Like uh, Landry got one uh, like that. And uh, yeah, that's what we're trying to do. I mean, it's helping us. One of the uh, coaches for the Rising Stars Talents is Pau Gasol, mm -hmm. who's obviously huge in Europe, especially in Spain. So when you were growing up, did you watch him? Did you ever think he would be one of your coaches in the All-Star weekend? Uh, I never think of that. But, uh, yeah, I've been watching him because I remember those finals against the French. Uh, Spain was winning every time, and uh, he was killing us. So, yeah, I know him really well. <laughs> uh, getting to go to this All-Star weekend, do, do you aspire to be in something like the dunk contest one day or, you know, being an official all-star one day eventually? Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Being an all-star is uh, one of my goals, for sure. And uh, dunk contest, uh, I don't know. I can jump, but I don't know if I got a lot of <laughs> tricks and everything. Yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> Kyle Kuzma, after the uh, first game, was asked by Ava about Friday's team. And he had an interesting note that you guys had a, a practice that was mostly dedicated to just mental discipline and staying focused on the court. Can you go into detail about what that practice was about and what it was like to just focus on the mental aspects of everything? Yeah, he was just uh, trying to make like everybody be on the same page. And uh, yeah, defensively we changed some things. So uh, we had to be like really focused on that so there is no mistakes on the court. So he was like really like on the detail, on the detail and everything. And uh, yeah, that, that helped us. I mean, we won two in a row, so yeah. What's the biggest thing you've learned about being in the NBA, either doing the off-court stuff or just being a player, fitting in on the team? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I say be taking care of your uh, body. Uh, that's uh, the biggest thing because, uh, you know, uh, like sleeping, uh, getting good recovery stuff, uh, like a cold bath and everything. And uh, yeah, that's the thing I learned.